was with uh, great sadness I received the message from Dr. Nanda Kumar M. Kamath that he has fallen ill. It's nothing serious, I feel, but still he could not make it today. So let's all keep him in our prayer. I'm standing here to present one of his papers. Basically, I'm not worthy of standing in his place. He is an assistant professor at the Goa University at the Botany Department. But he is a notable expert in history. And he has done something great for the Jewish legacy of Goa. I have a paper in front of me which is dated 8th of April 2013. And it was published in the Navin Times. The title is How Garcia de Orta Bridges Two Worlds. Since the days of Greek and Rome was fascinated with India and China. The Occident came to bridge the Orient. The West came to meet the East. The dialogue on mangoes, a fruit unknown to Europeans, took place more than 450 years ago in Goa. It is a post humorous culture shock for Goa, which once spotted 120 different varieties of mangoes. More than 50 varieties have been lost in past 50 years. It was a systematic botanical genocide in this beautiful state, so much adored by Garcia de Orta, whose importance, whose importance the Portuguese nation realized only in 1872, without atoning for the sin. <coughs> The barbaric anti-Jewish act by Inquisition of exhuming his bones, burning them and casting the ashes in Mandovi 12 years after his death in Goa. Orta captured the 16th century cultural essence of Indian medicinal and horticultural system. He did not know the cultural ripples which his book would create in Europe, especially in Belgium, Spain, Italy, and France. His book is our window to a simple past caught in a complex geopolitical flux of the 16th century. A Portuguese Jewish naturist. The writer, a Portuguese Jewish naturist, Garcia, in brackets, Abraham, Orta, born 1501, lived up to 1568, published this book, a collection of dialogues with a long title, Conversations on the Simple Drugs and Materia Medica of India and also of some fruits found there, in which some matters relevant to medicine practice and other matters good to know are discussed at the printing press of Johannes the Endem of St. Paul College, Old Goa, on April 10th, 1563. Garcia was in Goa from 1534 and had a house and garden at Rua dos Namarodos, brackets, Lovers Road, at Old Goa. The municipal garden in Pandium is named after him. This grotesque garden is income compatible with his life and work and was a symbolic gesture but more tangible contribution of Garcia <coughs> was the book itself which is yet to be introduced to local students. Astrophysicists and ideologist Rajesh Kuchal wrote, the great merit of Costa's work is that it includes well-drawn full-page illustrations of 46 plants with roots. The standard edition of Orta's work, edited and annotated by an accomplished botanist, Count Ficalo, appeared as late as 18th 
1895 in two volumes, by which time Orta's historiography had become self-evident. It was translated into English in 1913 by Sir Clements Markham, who is the source of most of the above information on Orta. It took Portugal 309 years to rediscover Garcia de Orta. The British recognized his merit 350 years after publication of original edition. Garcia's export of Indian wisdom to Europe was an important, was as important a contribution as described by Gavin Menezes in his part-breaking works 1421 and 1434, the year when a magnificent Chinese fleet sailed to Italy and ignited the Renaissance. Having witnessed the burning of his beloved sister, Catarina, on stake by the notorious Inquisition in Goa, but Garcia's life ended in sorrowful state. It was good that his ashes was cast in Mandovi in 1518, because by doing this, the Portuguese unknowingly had immortalized his memories. Garcia's physical essence became one with the fertile soil of Goa. <coughs> A Jewish naturalist in Christian Goa had succeeded in transmitting the Hindus, Jains, and Muslims A Jewish naturalist in Christian Goa had succeeded in transmitting the Hindu, Jains, and Muslim traditions of India to Renaissance Christian Europe, Socialist Portugal, the Jewish state of Israel, and India therefore can jointly declare him today as a true champion of globalization of knowledge. Many items of his ashes in Mandovi helped to fertilize a million ideas to unite the humankind across oceans, nations, and geopolitical boundaries. <laughs>